same thing I asked Bobby. How, th how difficult is it to, to, to play this many games on the road? Is it something that you hope will kind of pay off once you get the conference yeah. play, or does it pay off? No, I mean, there's two stretches in our year that I knew going in that were going to be, you know, very, very difficult in terms of a challenge. Yeah, I'm not sure there's anybody in the country that's playing seven out of eight games, you know, not at home. And that's, a, that's the stretch that we're in right now. And then obviously when we come back from Christmas, we've got four out of five league games on the road. That was two – when you look at your schedule, those are two concerns. And it's clearly, you know, um, very proud of our guys, how we played. Um, I thought we made a – you know – Met the challenge uh, against Illinois State. You know, we make literally make one or two more foul shots in the, in the last 40 seconds of that game. You win the game. It doesn't go to overtime. So, um, you know, proud of how we've handled it. Obviously, we've got two more on the road this week against, uh, you know, Robert Morris team that's, um, you know, we've never had a whole lot of success with and especially in their building. So, um, it, it, it's clearly a challenge to have that many road games. Hey, you look at me and doing beating us in 2001. Uh, they're not a team like Duke. I mean, it seems, is there any rhyme or reason? We beat them last year. Oh, did you? Mm hmm. Last time at their place. Oh, at, at their place, right. Uh, repeat the question. Okay. So, what is it about playing at their place that. Yeah, I mean, they're a good basketball team. I mean, they're, you know, they're a team that. Uh, um, Plays well in that facility. It's not an easy place to play. I don't know if you you know if you've ever been there. It's clearly unique in terms of. It's not a very good shooting background. It's the floors in the middle of a track. Um, on top of that, they defend you well, and have had a lot of success. So, um, it's it's been a tough place. We've had some great games there. We've never gotten over the hump, but um, obviously it's been disappointing. Well, I mean, you know, I, I think we've done a pretty good job in terms of growing in, in, to, in the game. Um, I think we have to rebound the ball a little bit better. We, we, we have to improve on, on some of our three-point shooting and those kind of things. But the one thing that's been encouraging is now for every game that we've played, um, you know, we've, we've gotten a little bit better from the game before. And I think that those guys have, have uh, really – uh, starting to find their niche and gel together, if you will. Uh, but, w I mean, we have a long way to go to be where we want to be, but we're a long way than where we were, you know, three weeks ago. I mean, it's kind of a weird stretch of playing at South Dakota, then at Texas A&M. Um, how do those games come together? Well, the – the NCAA, Joe, uh, this past year moved the games – moved the season back a week. So what it did was it just sandwiched you in games um, where um, you're all of a sudden playing so many games and, you know, like back-to-backs or not back-to-backs, but, you know, you know you, you're not stretching your games. The only time that you start to stretch is in the second semester when you get into league play. Um, the South Dakota game was a team that they would come to us last year, so we, we have a return game with them. And then the Texas A&M game is a, is a money game. Yeah, I mean, you know, Bobby's really, really important to us. And, and um, we're a different team uh, when he's on the floor. So making uh, little mistakes, by, and I mean little mistakes like fouls, ones that are controllable, um, you know, those are the things that really has to – he has to be able to grow up in. Um, his game has gotten so much better progressively over the years. Um, you know, we need him on the floor to be successful. Sir, what about Marcus? Do you see kind of a spark in his team a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I've been – you know, I've been saying it for a while. You know, all the last year, obviously, you, you didn't see it at times uh, because of the maturing process. But, um, you know, you know, Marcus is a really good offensive player, and he really has a – you know, his shot selection is really second to nobody that I've coached. I mean, he just doesn't take a bad shot. He knows where to, how to find his shots. Um, 
when you start to press up on him, you know, he makes really good passes. Uh, he's going to be a marked man this week. We'll see, we're going to we're going to see how much, you know, how much he's matured, how much game he has, because you know, after coming off the three games or four games in a row that he's had, that you know, South Dakota, Robert Morris, those guys are coming at him, you know, full gun. Well, I think it gets you set for the conference because of the fact that you're starting on the, on, you know, on the road in the conference. Um, you know, Illinois State is, you know, they're a really, really good basketball team. Uh, we got out, you know, we they shot, I think it was 27 more foul shots than we shot. Uh, I thought that, we, you know, I mean, it was such a travesty that we didn't make those last couple of plays, whether it was, you know, we had a loose ball rebound that was in our hands that we didn't get and the foul shot. We got to overtime and and you know we had three guys foul and the, you know we had, we went into overtime with three guys with four and lost them all in the first minute. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I mean, they're obviously they're good basketball teams and and, and we're, we're going to have to have a special effort this week to to win on two what I call really unique facilities. You know, Robert Morris is unique and and South Dakota they drop their court right in the middle of their football field there. So. Uh, we've got our work cut out this week. There's no doubt. It's kind of rainy, but how many states have you coached in? Have you coached in South Dakota before? Uh, no, I rode my motorcycle through there, but I've, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've, uh, I've never been. I think it's a good question, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm concerned about our energy, Joe. I mean, I, you know, this has been a long stretch, and um, you know, when you go. Eight games and seven of them are out of your building. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that you get concerned about, and I'm I'm concerned about our energy and being able to, you know, get home at two o'clock in the morning on, you know, on uh, Saturday and and then have enough gas to go play a tough game on Tuesday and then turn around and leave on Thursday to go play a Friday game to come back here on Saturday and play a Sunday game. And, it, I mean, it's it's uh, it's been a brutal stretch for us, and I think our kids have handled it pretty well. You said the NCAA moved the season back a week? A week, yep. Yeah. Their, start, their starting date was back a week. Any reason for that? You know? mm -hmm. Bobby mentioned the word rivalry when he talked about Robert Morris. Is that kind of a developing thing with you guys? Is it the proximity or maybe the level of play when you guys face each other? Yeah. That, you know what you know what the, the the biggest thing about that is is they play with those guys in the summer league. I mean, to me, that would be probably one of the biggest things that they play those. You know, obviously we play every year. You know, um, um, you know it's a situation where it's close. You know, I mean, them and Ken have been the kind of games that we've you know stayed local with. Um, and then they turn around and play against them and with some of those guys, you know, in that Pittsburgh summer league. So I think that that's probably as much as anything. Jerry, do you like those local matchups? I mean, I think you got three of them on here with Kent, Teal, um, Robert Morris. Do you kind of like those? Yeah, I mean, I, I like it because of the travel. Um, you know, I like it because it's, you know, obviously you're not getting on a bus or a plane or, or whatever. It's good for the budget. And I think it's, you know, it's good for the, you know, for our local fans.